Hello, my name is Raksha Jain. I'm sign-off and verification lead product engineer at Cadence Design Systems working on Qantas Extraction product. Welcome to the demo series of Qantas DSPF Interactive Output. Let's start with episode 1 of the Qantas IDSPF Interactive series where we will be discussing IDSPF that is the new upgraded Qantas output format extending visualizations and interactive capabilities integrated in Vachuso. This is a comprehensive new architecture with high capacity and fastest design closure with ADE simulation and interactive debug supported with Virtuoso Hierarchy Editor for analysis. In this flow, Qantas generated sign of quality DSPF is used in the simulation. Besides that, no additional setup and license requirement over current Qantas output formats. Now, let us see the demo on how to create IDSPF including the interactive view plus ASCII DSPF and then we will be using the IDSPF for simulation, probing and parasitics reporting. So in the first episode, we will be demonstrating on how to generate the Qantas interactive DSPF view plus ASCII DSPF on a VCO design. Once the layout of the design is complete, you can create a IDSPF in Virtuoso Layout Suite Excel to extract the parasitics. Here we are working on a PLL VCO design using a transient test bench. Now let us run LVS to create the query output for Qantas. Both Pegasus and Caliber LVS are supported. Here we are comparing the VCO schematic and layout. The run name will be PLL VCO underscore LVS and the input data for Qantas will be created by Pegasus under the SVDB directory. Please ensure the Pegasus rule tab is populated. Click on submit to run LVS. The LVS results are clean and layout versus schematic results match. Now let's run Qantas using the Qantas run form. This is the GUI setup for Qantas interactive DSPF generation. Select the output as interactive DSPF in the setup tab and the output view name can be changed. When user specifies the schematic view, Qantas will automatically correct the sub-circuit pin order by reading the schematic. Additionally, it will also generate the CDL out map directory to allow the probing. If user explicitly specifies these options, then they will take the precedence. Now let's navigate to the extraction tab. The extraction type is set to RC couples and the net name space is set to schematic. Click OK to run Qantas. Once the run completes, we have the ITSPF OA view and the SKTSPF simultaneously from the single run. It's done. Now let's check the files under the IDSPF directory. So here we can see that a design.dspf is generated in the same location where the OA view is generated. This design.dspf is exactly same as the Qantas generated DSPF when you set the output as transistor DSPF. Now let's explore the IDSPF OA view. So here we can see that an interactive view for debug and probing is generated and this interactive view is bound to the DSPF. Thank you for tuning into episode 1. I hope to see you back for episode 2 covering simulation and out of context probing.